Hey Lolor fans, what is up and welcome back. I really enjoyed doing one of my latest videos, the exploration of Zeta Halo series, and I got some positive feedback on it too, so I wanted to do a little bit more of it. And with that, while I was flying around this evening over the blue serene skies of Installation 07, I found something that at first seemed kind of odd, but then things took a grim turn. I think I found a banished execution site, or at the least a fighting ring for some type of banished punishment. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Like I said before, I was flying out over Zeta Halo today trying to discover, or rather uncover, any ancient mysteries that I could find. I was mainly flying over Forerunner architecture wondering just what purpose all these metallic structures serve, as well as pondering over the scarred and blackened battlegrounds of the ring, hoping that in the upcoming book Rubicon Protocol that we get to see why these specific areas look the way they do. But as I was flying around, I, I saw this triangular shape with a giant banished logo in the center of it. And I sort of just flew around it and wondered what it was. It really wasn't near anything and seemed kind of odd just to be by itself. There was no evidence of any soldiers there currently nor previously, so I continued on my flight not thinking much of it. That is until I found another site just like it, logo and all, on the opposite side of the map. And that is where things got kind of weird. As I took a closer look at it, I saw a dead brute warrior hanging over the side of the triangle, with another dead grunt inside. But inside with them, um, and not dead by the way, was a banished chieftain with a gravity hammer. And I knew for a fact it wasn't me who beat them because I had not flown into this area yet. Now according to banished rules and standard practices, historically chieftains are only replaced when they are forcibly supplanted by another in their clan. So who knows, maybe this other brute warrior was trying to supplant the chieftain of this particular clan and ended up paying the ultimate price for it. After me and the chieftain had a quick brawl, I went on to see if I could find any other of these, you know, sites, supposedly execution sites or fighting rings. And after a long while, I, I did indeed find another one. So there are at least three of these in the campaign and possibly more if I continue to search them out. This one, however, with no bodies around, dead or alive, did have some blood stains on the side of it, indicating that some type of fighting had taken place there. The Banished are a merciless group of individuals who only recognize power and might. Even saying part of their name, the Banished, refers to the weaknesses of their bodies being banished when they join the zealot ranks of Atriox. So in my head canon, it is entirely possible that these triangle-shaped Banished locations are indeed execution sites where the weak or disobedient are taken out to be taught a lesson by their fellow chieftains. I know it seems gruesome, but hey, these are, you know, the same folks who set up communication towers decorated with the armament of dead UNSC Marines to broadcast their propaganda. So anything is possible in my book. If you ask me and looking around this triangular shape with all the lights on and everything, I can totally see banished soldiers standing all around the edges of it, looking inside as two of their fellow brothers are fighting it out to see who the ultimate victor and eventual leader will be of their clan. And that does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, stick around because videos like this and others will continue to come around. I love being able to openly explore our first Halo ring, especially with it being the mysterious Installation 07 or Zeta Halo. And if you ask me, we have not even scratched the surface of this game and uncovering the mysteries inside this ring. And with that, and until next time, find joy in the great journey.